I think this should be Gucci now. It should be Gucci. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I did manage to go live today. Was trying to earlier this week, you know, kind of had to do some things, but today I got some stuff out of the way, and here we are. It's not gonna be a super long stream, you know, we'll, uh, you know, all things in good time. You know how it is. But I don't think any of you guys, other than Coffee here, my, my dear Coffee, <laughs> I guess I should, you know, acknowledge your presence or something. Ugh. But, <laughs> but other than, than him and some other people, this is my, uh, my creepy house. This is my Halloween house. It is the uh, Agony's Ascent. And real quick before I do, you know, whatever the hell it is I'm going to do, I'll give you all a little brief uh, tour here. So, <laughs> so you walk in, you got to have like the full, the full effect, the full effect. So you walk in and you got your uh, Molag ball thing here, just like greeting you, whatever. Uh, the, the armory guy, he's kind of on his little path down there, but but he walks the uh, the grounds here. He's the groundskeeper. Uh, we got these little like ice spiky things, you know, very ominous. These gargoyles, you know, it's sweet. Lower the music more. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll lower it more. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Is this is this slightly? Hold on. Let me. It should be okay. <laughs> it should be all right now. Hold on, I turned it down in Spotify. Now I feel like you can't hear it. Oh, I have to reapply my little, uh, my skins, I just realized. My little whatever the hell it is. For my little notification things. That's all right, that's all right. I'll do that later. My alerts are gonna have, uh, they don't look sweet right now on the side, but but they will. They will again. I just, that was the one thing I fucking forgot, but it's all right. But anyway, now I feel like you can't hear it at all. Hold on, I'm going to turn it up a little bit in the, uh, what's it called? The browser source. I think that's what I used to do before, is I would turn it down in, like, the, uh, what's it called? The actual, like, YouTube or Spotify, whatever, and then turn it up a little bit on this thing. See. Okay, yeah, that's like okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hold on. We're gonna just bump it up a little bit, a little bit there. <laughs> that that should be that should be sufficient. Whatever. I'm not gonna. <laughs> at least now it shouldn't be super overpowering, drowning out whatever. But <laughs> but yeah. So you go over here on this side. And uh, this is like the, the gallows sort of like torture area here outside. Um, we have some like some fish and, and some, you know, weird rotted things for the, uh, the people to throw at whoever you put here. Obviously, like you got like the little, um, what do they call these? The stockades, you got the guillotine through a little bucket here, you know, just for good measure. Some like ominous lightning shit. This is also where the, um, the banker and merchant come here to sit. But oh, there's one now. Hello. See? Hello! But the other one will come over. They they have a little perch over here. But, um, but yeah. And then this is the cage that, we, you know, you keep the extra prisoners in when they're waiting their turn to get, like, tortured. Um, come over this way. Oh, look, and there goes, there goes the merchant. Whee! Okay. So, <laughs> you know, I got some, some creepy freaking totems and whatnot and purple mushrooms of, of death and destruction. Um, and then here is our Molag Ball statue. He's got like the, his little like, you know, people, whatever, constituents cowering in fear. They're all made out of stone and whatnot, just because, you know, it's how it is. But, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, you go there, you just pay your respects and, uh, and keep walking along your way. And then this is where the banker and merchant go when they're not over on the, um, the gallows or whatever. They sit here. This is one of the new furnishings from, from Necrom, the Apocrypha uh, Podium Candlelit. You get that, I believe, fishing, fishing in Apocrypha. Um, I still have some other furnishings I need to replace in here. But uh, but yeah, like the newer ones, I mean, like from Necrom to switch them around and stuff. But yeah, and you got like the creepy swamp place here, you know, like vines and all sorts of stuff. I really like these, um, these skull trees, you know, threw them in here. Uh, what not more more lightning coming down those like spires is pretty cool and then when cam <laughs> listen 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 we'll, we'll get there we'll get there i have to uh you know i have to um 
uh, you know, do this thing, and then, and then I gotta, like, do this other thing, or whatever, and then, <laughs> and then like, you know, and then, and then that'll happen, but, <laughs> but, here you go in the inside, and this is the torture room, <laughs> torture room, we have, like, a little creepy, you know, like, these are the bones of the, the people gone before, or whatnot, we just leave them laying around, cause, like, you know, freaking, just, uh, just for decoration, why not? This is like a, a vat with a, a creepy little, uh, you know, creature in there. Harvested venom for, uh... <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm full of excuses. I love excuses. It's like actually my favorite thing. Um, but yes. And then here we have, you know, like the, the torture tables. Got some knives and some blood, some little blood and guts. This is where all the, uh, the instruments of pain are kept ready to go. And as you probably saw, we have uh, Aerox, you know, he goes around here and, uh... Oh, we can't undo your miserable curse, Aerox. It's all right. You're a cute little Daedrat. <laughs> we love you. We love you. One skeleton <laughs> piece of bone. And listen, there's more. There's more bones. Look, look, look. Because, like, see, look, there's, like, corpses here. See, look, this guy, he just kind of, like, fell down. And, you know, that that's just where he lives now. I mean, where he dies. I mean, it's where he dies now. Um, this is, uh, like, blood and guts, whatever. Here, little fun secret. This is actually a crystal cluster. Wow. I just turned it upside down. Cool. Um, but yeah. And then, like, there's some, some meats, you know, pork. Pork, as we know, pork. Um, some tenderizers, some other stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, you know, just, like, some creepy blood things. Because, you know, why not, whatever. Got the good old Iron Maiden here. We have the little music box in here, this little guy. Cute, cute little skelly guy. Um, yeah, see, look, and here's some more bones. The bones of the of the fallen. And um, this is the good old blood fountain. You know, we use this for, um, you know, well, I think it's kind of obvious, obvious what it's used for there. Um, and here, we'll do a quick run of the upstairs. I like, I... I almost closed off the upstairs part just because it was running out of like spaces and whatever, like furnishings. But, um, okay, bye. Okay, bye. T T Y L X O X O. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but yeah, and then up here, this is just kind of like a, uh, you know, whatever, observatory little place. Have some, uh, cool little artifacts and stuff up here. And the, uh, you know, whatever this is. <laughs> and then here, go up to like the main part. You can see out for miles and miles and here's a little a bench you know i i just thought it would be funny to somewhere in this build throw in the good old daedric bench ashen because like you know it's a daedric bench ashen so we have that here and yeah you can look out over the lands over the, the beautiful dead lands and just kind of like chill and whatever and then i threw this brazier up here and honestly, like, I can move this. This is just taking up, like, a random furnishing spot, whatever. But, uh, but whatever. I like it. I liked it, and I wanted to put it in here somewhere. I couldn't figure out where else to put it. But, um, here. I wonder if I can do the, uh, the jump trick, the jump trick fast enough. For some reason, I feel like it works better if I go in here. All right. So I don't that. You go like this, and then, woo! Okay. <laughs> now, we'll just go in and, uh, We'll run back through here. I wish that there is a way to get from here to like the um, the upper backyard kind of part faster. I thought about trying to put in some sort of like a, a bridge, rock, something, but like, I don't know, I couldn't really get it to, to work right. So it just kind of is what it is. And let's see here. Okay. So we go over this way. This is where crafting is. This is like, it's crafting, and it's also the kind of like, creepy laboratory place. It's pretty sweet. But and I, I made this last year, and I swear, like, I, what's it called? Uh, predicted Necrom, I swear I did. Because I used like, a whole bunch of these, like, I don't know, Tavani things, Tavani furnishings. We got the little pocket watcher, like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I psychically <laughs> predicted Necrom. But anyways, here in the, uh, Sorry, I'm trying not to burp in your freaking ear. Um, here in the uh, the creepy laboratory, we have some more uh, little science experiments, whatever. This is the uh, the mad scientist table. 
Um, here, these are where I want to put some of like the new uh, book furnishings from from Necrom, whatever. I want to put some of those here. But anyways, we got you know a creepy table, some soul gems, potions and whatnot, lotions and potions and, and gaskets and caskets. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. And um, here's just the you know regular basic crafting. I didn't put my uh, transmute station in here. I kept that in my regular primary just because like. It, I couldn't get it to fit really into the theme of here, and, and predominantly I wanted this to be like like a Halloween themed house, you know, like a, like a creepy one, not just like for for usage and, and whatever, but for at least convenience, I wanted just like, you know, regular stations, and I wanted to put this in particular in here, this enchanting table, because I mean like, it's sweet, and uh, yeah, I couldn't really like just put it in there all by its lonesome, so we got that going on, so yes, and hold on, let me my phone real quick. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me see the BS. Saws mates. <laughs> These things happen. Alright, alright. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Put in the little thing. Alright, anyways. Um, and then we have the, the stone husk. What's it called? Target stone husk. You get this from collecting fragments in um, Labyrinthian, pretty sure, Western uh, Skyrim Public Dungeon. So yes, that that was a grind to get, but but I love doing all those Public Dungeon um, collecting of the, the fragments and whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all of them finished except for the, the latest ones, and I think one in Blackwood, but don't quote me on that. It might be a different one. I have to go in the achievements and look, but, but yeah. And then here we have the, uh, you know, the mad scientists, uh, little tools and whatnot, some some powders and, uh, you know, whatever the, all the good things that a, a mad scientist would use. So eggs, rotten, weird eggs and, and scorpion claws and whatever. Uh, and then back here we have our resident pet. Um, I did have to, I wanted to put in a scuttle bloom because like I am obsessed with scuttle blooms. They're kind of like my favorite thing. And um, I like, I try to put one, or I, I am going to put one in, in every housing build that I, I do, basically, just because, like, you know, every serious one. Maybe not, like, the little apartments and stuff, just because, like, the, the slots are more tight on there. But this is, you know, this is a little habitat, but that's not even the pet. Surprise, surprise. The pet is back here. Look, it's the little baby buggy. It's a little buggy. This, Necrotic Horvor. Uh, you get this from, what is it, um, Imperial City and uh, White Gold Tower. You have to do all of the trifecta achievements, I'm pretty sure, for both of those. And then you get this cute little buggy. And I just thought he kind of fit in here. I made him a little habitat, you know, got some glowy stuff, some little vines. This is his bowl he eats out of. He's got his little treats in there. Oh, excuse me, there he goes. Uh, you know, and some, <laughs> some little plants and stuff. I think it's kind of cute. And uh, I like to think the uh, the scientists, whatever you know, might come in here and maybe take a little bit of uh, you know, samples, whatnot, for the experiments and stuff. We we keep the uh, the bug as a nice home here. He's got a, a nice little home. And then then this is probably my my favorite part of the uh, the build. I I because I just thought it was so cool in general that this was like part of the house. But up here we have the cool smokers lounge. It is VIP only, <laughs> and uh, you know, have some cool glowy mushrooms because, like, I gotta put glowy mushrooms in, you know, wherever, whenever I can. Um, but yes, this is the Smokers Lounge, cool cats only. Um, you see, we kind of got like the the hookah theme, whatever. It's a little a uh, little smoky in here, a little hot boxy, whatnot. We got some uh, some trippy lights going on, some cool little uh, musics and whatnot. <laughs> And here's where the meeting of the minds occur. Um, I farmed for the, this little plant, whatever this is, the uh, Indril Incense Cup, Incense Cup Silver. Farmed that last year and I was making this. You have to uh, pickpocket in, in Vardenfell. It's, uh, I, I believe priests are the, the ones that you have the higher chance or like the best chance of getting them from. There might be the only drops from them, but um, yo, tiny. <laughs> greetings, greetings. What do you mean, WTF? You're a WTF, you little silly. You little silly billy. Hi. <laughs> what? Why didn't you mention that before? You didn't mention that before. <laughs> we were like, literally, jeez. Oh, 
<laughs> oh god, here it goes. <laughs> I mean, I meant Tony. Tony, sorry, sorry, not Tiny, Tony. That's what I think too. I think that too, Coffee. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. But there is way. But what? Oh my god. Is that what the hand thing was from? That's crazy. You know, and I was gonna say, stay safe. And now look. But I mean, you're here, you're alive. One is permanent marker. I know. <laughs> What is her marker? Definitely. Um, but yeah, this is like, you know, this is the grinder. We do it old style here. Mortal, mortar and pestle. You know how it is. Um, but yeah, but yeah, this is the little, little smoker's lounge up here. And then there's one more room to show. It's kind of like the, the common room. Oh yeah, and then there's the whole outside. I have the whole outside here to show you guys. Oh, and the mausoleum. Um, but Tiny said neither were permanent marker. <laughs> said if they're real, you lost it. I, <laughs> I know. That's what I said. I was like, no shot, no shot. Hold on, I need some water. <laughs> need some damn water. Mmm. Oh my god. Someone robbed your common sense. They did. They did, Tiny. They did. Oh man, I just have no common. <laughs> How loose do you think I am? Well, I mean, <laughs> that would be for you to uh, decide or whatever. That I wouldn't really, I don't really know what to, uh, I wouldn't really know what to say. <laughs> but, um, but out here, these are the, the upper outer grounds, I guess you could say. Uh, and I'm not sure where our little, um, our little reach witch is. She could be over by the mausoleum. She could be over here by her wolf, but but this is her little hut. Um, she comes in here and chills, you know, play some tribal drums and whatnot, and you know, just kind of hang out, and do uh, you know, witch things and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I'm judging by the size of it and the fact that you like black fairy. Oh my god, <laughs> the tattoo, yeah, black big whatever, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. We know, we know, we know. <laughs> Because, and then, um, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> come over here, sorry, I'm like coughing, and I should have got more water, I I'm like trying not to like, choke and gag with Tiny's freaking scaring me with these stories, hold on, mm. alright, alright, very good, very good, <laughs> yeah, I'm the top problem, she said, yes, Tiny, we know, we know, but, um, but we have a, a wolf that uh, that kind of works the grounds here. This is his little uh, his little home. He's got some creepy little fog. Is his meats, his cured meats, and uh, you know bones because he likes his bones. But um, but the wolf isn't here right now. It's probably over by the uh, the mausoleum. He could be frolicking around here somewhere else. <laughs> but yes, the uh, up here we have the statue to Sithis because like why not? You know, it's a pretty sweet statue and. <laughs> When I first started playing ESO, this is a fun story. Um, wait, wait, hold on, let me see this. They took all your cash and bank card, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying this for you, babe. I know, right? Like, geez, man, that's what I'm saying. Did they take a lot? I don't know, I don't know. I can't believe she had mentioned this before, but like, oh, do you mean like last night, like, oh, maybe it was like after, okay, oh my God. But yeah, stay safe, <laughs> please, come on, you don't take a lot, okay, but yeah, you gotta be safe, um, but yes, then, <laughs> but, oh yeah, but when I, uh, when I started playing ESO, and I first saw this in the crown store, it was like in there, shortly after I started playing, and I like didn't think to check the, the preview size, none of that, I was just like, oh my god, this thing's cool, and then I got it, and I was like, oh my god, this is gigantic. <laughs> I, like, didn't even have an apartment. But, uh, but yeah, here we are now, finally. Can, you know, put it to some use here. But, uh, but yes. And then over here, oh, there's our Reach Witch. Hello, hello. Just, uh, you know, patrolling the grounds. Um. Just sell a couple more videos. <laughs> I know, I know. That's, like, you know, you got it. 
You gotta start with one. No, you already have some. You have some. Oh, and Tiny, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but yes, we have the uh, the graveyard over here. We have a little uh, little spider who chills and you know walks around and whatnot. But we have all sorts of you know just little corpses and whatnot and you know your your typical your typical rigmarole. Um, this is where I go to uh, to hunt my dummy to hunt the dummy. We also have the guild hall, of course, but you know sometimes I go here and. When I want people breathing down my back or whatever, you know, because I'm so antisocial, hee hee. Um, <laughs> Coffee said I'll be your first client to support, you know, heavy job. Yo, thank you. Welcome in. It is too spooky. It's hella spooky. <laughs> this is my, my creepy house in ESO I'm doing a, a little brief tour of. But, uh, but yo, glad to see you in here. I, I can't believe you're still surviving the, the Twitter X uh, thing, whatever. We're still here, twitter.com. It's, it's a blast. <laughs> Tiny thanks and I'll send you a link. Send me a link, I'll send you cash. Yeah, so you gotta do like a PayPal cash app, you know. Excuse me, something like that. <laughs> but anyways, anyways. But yeah, we have some uh, creepy trees. These little skulls, you can play with them. Look, wee, well, wee, well. They're pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and you know some other things. I've I've never really understood this particular statue. I'm pretty sure it's an uh, antiquity from uh, Western Skyrim. I think it is. Yeah, Red Eagle cave painting. But like, <laughs> what is this? Why is that there? I don't know. Is this supposed to be like some sort of a fertility being? It's just kind of got like a little uh little little hole little gap there. Maybe it's the belly button. We'll, we're, we'll say it's a belly button. It's a ceremonial belly button. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. And uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, over here. This was my little bit of a uh, creativeness, whatever. Oh, I wanted to throw this little skeleton in here just because he's cute. It's cute. It really doesn't fit in the, the thing at all. It's just a skeleton, but I just wanted to put him in there. Uh, <laughs> we can work something out. Oh, tiny god, I have a smoke. Monetize it. You gotta record it. You can, it can be like a sexy smoke. It can be like your first video, like, you know, ooh, I'm here. I'm moist. I'm smoking. I'm sexy. <laughs> It'll be good. Um, because this is where the mausoleum is over here. But um, but I, I built this. It's nothing too crazy, whatever. It's just, you know, a little, some some blocks and whatever. But but this is the, uh, the little mausoleum. Uh, I like to think that this is like the the owner or the original owner, whatever, of the grounds. You know, this is their their final resting place and whatnot. And we have like their their gifts and what things that uh you know people have brought them, their their relatives, whatever the fuck. They're probably Dunmer, just because like you know I love the Dunmer and I put in some Dunmer stuff in here. You know, Dunmer urns, whatever, and some other things that I need to put in like new ones from Necron that I think would fit well. Um, but uh. I'm here, I'm smoking, I'm moist. <laughs> then pay for that shit. I know, I know. Very moist. Yeah, baby. Um, and yeah, so then here, the, the, here's the, uh, the coffin or whatever, but the coffin is open. Oh my goodness. And his skull is glowing. That means there's, you know, power going on or something. <laughs> but yes. And, uh, oh wait, that's the, here's the, here's the door. Here we go. Here we go. Um, but yeah. And I put this cool vampire statue on top, which it's kind of hard to see from the ground. But let me go over here. It'll be a little bit easier to see. But yeah, I love this vampire statue. And um, it has multiple settings. It's like one of those, like the lights turn different colors, whatever. Um, does it say what it's called? Yeah, Stamp statue, 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 vampiric sovereign. Sovereign? Sovereign? Yeah, whatever. You know, same diff. Um, but that one, I think it's, it's really cool. I had to put that in there. Um, <laughs> she said it twice and didn't spew. That's right, Tiny. Tip of the tongue, teeth and lips. Or something like that. Um, and then this is like the kind of um, common room, meeting room, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I couldn't make like, I don't want to make like a like a bedroom, whatever. Like this isn't meant to be like a, like a comfy, you know, cozy castle, whatever. This is a creepy place of you know, terror, yeah, but, um, <laughs> there's a, you know, vampire statue of some kind, uh, fountain here, 
and come and you know pay your respects at assuming we have like some some ceremonies in here some creepy stuff goes on whatever <laughs> sovereign yeah so sovereign 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 <laughs> um, and then yeah this <laughs> this is the the table i kind of thought it was cool i put these uh these sigic tables together i kind of like layered them up whatever to try to make a sort of multi-level deal thing just because i don't know i just thought it looked cool whatevs um <laughs> yes and then here just like some some more creepy statues you know some ceremonial things whatever um and then up here is kind of like the you know relaxing area so to speak <laughs> damn are you still there baby come back no she's getting ready she's taking the videos she's doing the videos <laughs> Damn. Oh, tiny. What the hell? That sucks. That really sucks, dude. Uh, it's, it's okay. Like, I like to think of it as, you know, when, when bad things happen, like, it's kind of like, like a karma thing, whatever. Not saying that, like, you had bad karma coming your way, but, like, sometimes bad shit happens to us, right? There's nothing we can really do about it, but, like, that does end up coming back to us, like, in the future at some point, you know? And, and whatever so try I mean I, I understand that's like kind of all the words and the situation whatever when it's like real world things and whatnot but like you know it, it'll it'll all come back around eventually those people will get theirs and you know it'll it'll be okay um said it doesn't suck that bad if frozen it they didn't even use it yet. okay but but still it's still traumatizing to like have that happen and you know it's scary it's scary stuff um yeah but uh but here's like you know just some more kind of creepy artifacts and whatever um i really like this bookcase and i love that it's you know just kind of one of those all-in-one bookcases have some little trinkets on here and stuff i think are really nice um and then here just kind of tried to throw on some some little random things this i could change up i could maybe utilize these couple furnishing slots a little differently whatever but you know it is what it is uh and yeah we have some you know cool kind of creepy far grave plants chilling you know we got whatever this is going on some more danger creepy artifacts and uh and yes <laughs> and coffee said activate pay pass on your phone and unlock it to make a purchase okay yeah yeah uh, that would work and she says yep yeah, do smart travel okay <laughs> wow wow <laughs> i can't talk well that's good that's good he's just, you're just trying to you know you know just trying to help somewhat <laughs> yes and then you know more more daedric artifacts and, and whatnot but but yeah so this is uh, yeah it's my my creepy house my halloween house i sent it to my primary as soon as october hits just because like i only use it once a year or whatever like i i like my regular primary just because it's more compact it's easier to get around like as far as all of the the stuff when i'm going to, to sell this and that whatever um but you know i like having this set as my primary at least once a year and you know, we'll do some other stuff definitely in the future. <laughs>